Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're at Bachman's Pools, Spas, and Saunas. And we might even be talking about some saunas today with the owners, Fred and Kaya. I might get one. Yeah. There you go. All right. Just the season. That's for why sure. we bring people in here. <laughs> <laughs> but right now we're talking swimming. And our next guest founded his business on the idea that kids' lessons in swimming could be better. This is Bill Teagum from Little Stroke Swim Academy. Thanks. Good morning. Thanks for Thanks coming for in. Thanks for having me again. You yeah. bet. Before we talk about swimming and what's going on mm -hmm. over at the pool, you have three little girls. How was Halloween? It was awesome. Cold. <laughs> cold, yeah, yeah. but at least not rainy. That's yeah, good. Yeah, it wasn't know? raining or snowing yeah. this year. Yeah, it was tolerable, so that was good. Yeah. Yeah. No, and uh, one of our stops even had some whiskey cider for me, so hey, that was good. Hey, uh, <laughs> Daddy gets to go trick-or-treating, right? too. All right. <laughs> yep. Were they three little princesses? Um, no. Well, Molly was a vampire queen, my oldest. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Sally, the little one, was a pumpkin, and uh, Lucy... Lucy, she was uh, Pinkie Pie, one of the My Little Ponies. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. adorable. Yeah. The whole yep. gamut there. That is oh, adorable. Yeah. <laughs> yep, good array. Very Everything. cool. <laughs> so speaking of kids, uh, what, what sorts of things are going on with your kids and with kids at, at Little Strokes? Yeah, um, geez, busy as usual. Um, you know, fall soccer just got done with, so now, of course, we're starting indoor soccer with the little ones, you know, sure. with uh, our two oldest, actually. And... Um, that's going really well. Molly's uh, Molly just started doing swim team at uh, Little Strokes, and so that's keeping her busy on Friday nights and wearing her out and allowing us to sleep a little bit better good. too. So that's good. good. There you go. <laughs> um, they're all in swim lessons, of course. And sure. Yeah, we're busy, busy running around. Finally, in the full swing of things with school, I think we're in that in that sure. mode now. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting your groove. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's good. So your new pool is just a little over a year old. Yeah. Right. And so, what else is new? You've been kind of getting into the groove yeah yeah no um we're we're really we're finally able to kind of hit cruise control a little bit we're just in, we're in a good groove we have a we have a lot of great instructors um we did have a little hiccup this fall well, not not a hiccup but two of our female instructors just got pregnant and so they're going to be moving on with uh doing more family stuff and and um, so we're actually looking for instructors now um so that's kind of our our new mode is we're, we're in hiring mode a little bit um and uh so folks watching out yeah, there can absolutely can definitely reach out. hiring for instructors and and office staff um, and lifeguards. I mean, we really need oh, wow. it all at this point. Um, I, I hear that it's it's a tough hiring market out there because I, I mean everybody is, seems to be hiring these days, yeah. which is a great problem. Yeah. Um, for the society as a whole, but right. not so great of a problem when you're looking for people. Not but, when you're the one who's looking yeah, for people. But yeah. hey, I might have to get wet a little bit more often <laughs> in the week or something. And I don't you, know. you know, you can tell I'm not a pool person because when you say lifeguards, I'm like, oh yeah. You know, I think of that as kind of a summer job. Yeah, right. yeah, no, we're all year round for sure. Um, and um, you know, the, the on-deck lifeguard position is not required mm -hmm. by law or anything, but it just gives me peace of mind to have somebody up there too. That extra set of eyes in the pool is always, always yeah. good. And, and so I don't have to shout no running to kids and interrupt my lesson. <laughs> that, you know, the right. on-deck lifeguard can do it, you know? Right. Um, because, you know, that, that kind of thing just makes things run a little bit more smoothly. Absolutely. It's a good insurance policy to have. Oh, without a sure. doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah, absolutely. So you, uh, you since moving to the, the new location, you've started an, a, a water aerobics class. How's that going? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, uh, we just hired a new aerobics instructor, Tammy Greiber, who has been um, kind of the fitness guru down at the Wanaki Village Center for a long time. And she does a, a lot of personal training, too. Um, actually met up with her at the quick trip the other day and I was like, hey, you know, are you interested in water aerobics? Because we've been without a water aerobics instructor now for a couple months. And so now we just uh, got it back up and running again um, Mondays and Thursdays at one o'clock. Okay. So um, it's kind of come one, come all. Most of the people attending have been seniors, but... Um, it's open to anyone though. Yep. Okay. Is that the kind of thing where people can pay as they go or do you buy a package? Yeah, um, it, it, they can definitely come in um, for just one or two classes if they want to, or they can um, buy a punch card with uh, 10, 10 get, punches on it. So they get a you better know, deal. Yep, yep, yep kind exactly. Of thing. Yep. All right. So we covered that you're hiring. You're looking for instructors, lifeguards, and even some office help. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, we're doing it all. Yep, and uh, sure. com competitive swimming is uh, usually the prerequisite for if you're hiring. If yeah, you want to be an instructor. for sure. Um, all of our instructors are, are are swimmers from from day one. I mean, they, they all have to be swimmers, competitive swimmers. Um, so they have that knowledge of all four strokes. That, mm -hmm. That's super important. It allows me to kind of teach them how to teach the kids uh, how right. to relate it to little ones. I mean, some of them have 
coaching experience coaching older kids, but they don't have a whole lot of experience coaching the younger ones. Some of them do come in with younger mm -hmm. kid experience, but then they don't have the experience with the upper level strokes. So I have to kind of have a little sure. balancing act there to try to figure out right. how to tailor their training to make it most appropriate for each person. And that really is what sets your business apart from other swim schools, mm -hmm. is you're teaching competitive yeah, sure. strokes from day one, which some parents might think, well, I don't think that my three-year-old's ready for that, but they really are. I mean, it, it doesn't take yeah. a whole lot to... Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. And and even younger than that, I mean, our, our little babies, we have some really impressive little babies <laughs> that, yeah. are, that are learning to roll by themselves, and um, you see all those internet videos online of, you know, babies rolling over, like that stuff, it's, yeah. it's legit. I mean, yeah. uh, they can swim at young ages. So. That's awesome. When is the next registration? Um, we are about to start here uh, two Mondays from now, so um, I don't know the date, but... Uh, Middle of November. Sorry. <laughs> That's bad of me, but yeah. Middle of November, um, yeah. yeah. All right, so folks are looking to register their child. Take a look at your website, yep. give you a call. That's For sure. Or water aerobics. For sure, or strokes.com. Yep. if you want to fill some of those positions at, at your Yes, yes please. Yes. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Bill Deegan is with Little Stroke Swim Academy. They're out in Wanakee. And we're at Bachman's Pools, Spas, and Saunas. We'll be right back.